Hello and welcome to our video about the magnificent Sint, Baf's Cathedral in Gent, Belgium. Join us as we explore this stunning example of Gothic architecture, discover its rich history and famous works of art, and marvel at the beauty of its interior and exterior. The exterior of the St. Bayef's Cathedral is just as impressive as its interior. The cathedral's facade features a stunning display of Gothic architecture with intricate carvings, sculptures and towering spires. The main entrance is adorned with a beautiful tympanum depicting scenes from the life of St. Bavo, while the spires are topped with copper finials and decorative statues. One of the most notable features of the cathedral's exterior is the octagonal lantern tower, which stands at the intersection of the nave and transept. This tower is topped with a golden weathercock, which has become a symbol of the city of Ghent. The tower is visible from many points throughout the city and serves as a striking landmark in the Ghent skyline. The exterior of the St. Bias Cathedral has also undergone several changes and additions over the years. In the 16th century, the cathedral's west facade was renovated with the addition of a large portal and a new rose window. Later, in the 19th century, the cathedral's north facade was rebuilt in a neo-Gothic style, adding even more grandeur to the already impressive structure. The Sint Bayef's Cathedral has a rich history that spans over 1,000 years and its interior has undergone numerous changes and renovations throughout the centuries. The cathedral was originally built in the 10th century as a small Romanesque church dedicated to St. John the Baptist. It was later rebuilt in the Gothic style in the 14th and 15th centuries with the addition of the nave, transept and choir area. Over the years, the interior of the cathedral has been adorned with numerous works of art and decorations. Many of the cathedral's chapels were decorated with intricate carvings, paintings, and stained glass windows, often sponsored by wealthy guilds or nobles. One of the most important events in the cathedral's history occurred in the 16th century when the Calvinists took control of Ghent and stripped the cathedral of much of its decoration. Many of the cathedral's sculptures, paintings and altarpieces were destroyed or taken away, including the famous Ghent altarpiece, which was later recovered and returned to the cathedral. The cathedral underwent a major restoration in the 19th century which included the addition of new stained glass windows and the rebuilding of the north facade in a neo-Gothic style. In the 20th century, further renovations were carried out to restore the cathedral's interior to its former glory. Today, the interior of the St. Biaf's Cathedral remains a stunning example of Gothic architecture and a testament to the artistry and skill of the cathedral's builders and artists over the centuries. We have prepared for you 10 rare and interesting facts about this beautiful cathedral. The cathedral is named after Saint Bavo, a 7th century Frankish nobleman who became a monk and was later canonized as a saint. The Ghent altarpiece housed in the cathedral is one of the most frequently stolen works of art in history and has been stolen six times since its creation in 1432. During World War II, the cathedral's stained glass windows were removed and hidden to protect them from damage or destruction. The cathedral's bell tower stands 89 meters tall and is the tallest in the city of Ghent. The cathedral has a number of interesting gargoyles and grotesques adorning its exterior, including one that depicts a dragon eating a man. The cathedral's pulpit, carved from white marble, 
is considered one of the finest examples of Baroque art in Belgium. The cathedral's organ is one of the largest in the world, with over 6,000 pipes and a console that can be played from either the choir loft or the nave. The cathedral was the site of the baptism of Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, in 1500. The cathedral has a number of interesting tombs and memorials, including the tomb of Bishop Antonius Trieste, who served as Bishop of Ghent in the 17th century. The cathedral has a number of interesting tombs and memorials, including the tomb of Bishop Antonius Trieste, who served as Bishop of Ghent in the 17th century. Today, the St. Biafs Cathedral remains an active place of worship and a major tourist attraction in the city of Ghent. Regular masses and religious services are held in the cathedral and visitors are welcome to attend. In addition to its religious significance, the cathedral also serves as a cultural center and hosts a number of concerts, exhibitions and other events throughout the year. The cathedral's interior and exterior are regularly maintained and restored to preserve its historic beauty and ensure that it remains a beloved landmark of Ghent. In recent years, conservation efforts have focused on the restoration of the cathedral's stained glass windows, which have been cleaned, repaired and reinstalled to their original splendor. Visitors to the St. Bias Cathedral can explore its rich history and admire its stunning architecture, from the soaring vaulted ceilings and intricate carvings to the colorful stained glass windows and ornate altarpieces. The cathedral also offers guided tours for those who want to learn more about its fascinating history and significance. Dear subscriber, we hope this message finds you well. We wanted to take a moment to thank you for your continued support of our channel. Whether you've been with us since the beginning or are a new viewer, we appreciate every one of you. Our mission is to provide you with content that is not only entertaining, but also informative and inspiring. We strive to create videos that bring a little bit of joy and relaxation into your day. Whether you're looking for a nature escape, a glimpse into different cultures, or just a few minutes of lighthearted fun. We encourage you to take some time for yourself and watch our videos whenever you need a break from the stress of daily life. And if you enjoy what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new upload. Thank you again for your support and we look forward to continuing to provide you with quality content that brings a smile to your face and a sense of wonder to your day.